thing that I sometimes do on a mixo tune, which I definitely do in this tune, is kind of the reverse of the walk down. The walk down is based on a descending major scale. But you can also do in the bass uh, an ascending major scale. Or an ascending mixolydian scale in this, this case. And in Garrett Berry's, I kind of, I don't do those all with even, even timing. I do two, two, three, four, three, and four, and five. And I harmonize that in an interesting way. <clears throat> I start out on the tonic, which is D major. With the two in the bass, I use the seven chord in first inversion. C, K, C chord with an E in the bass. I like that sound. It's kind of a, to me, that feels like you're moving forward. You're building, building tension. You're building up to something. And then I build it even more by going to the one in first inversion. Then I go to the seven again, but in second inversion with the five in the bass. So one, seven first inversion. One first inversion, seven second inversion, one second inversion. So it's just one seven, one seven, one seven, one, but the bass line is rising, and I think that just gives it the feeling of advancing somewhere. And then, you know, to the regular six, seven, one, six, seven, one. So the whole thing would be. Let's listen to that on the B section of Garrett Berry's. I'm only gonna do it one time through, I think. Let's see. Oh, I'm too far ahead.